All right, now on the right hand side, we have got the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra rocking the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset made for Galaxy. And on the left hand side, we have got the Galaxy S23 Ultra with Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset made for Galaxy. In this video, let's do a quick speed test between these two phones and let's see whether there is any real difference between these two phones in terms of opening the applications, games or video rendering. Before we begin, let's make sure both the phones are on the same Wi-Fi network. As you can see, both of them are on the same Wi-Fi network here. Now let's go to the settings and let's go to device care and let's optimize the phone here. All the background apps are closed here. Let me tap on done. Now let me go to the memory. Again here, let me just quickly clear this off. You can see both of them have 12 GB RAM here and close to about 6 GB used on both the phone. Now let's begin the test. Uh, for this test, I have uh, listed a bunch of applications here. Uh, let's go ahead and open some of the system apps uh, to begin with. I will tap on settings. Both are at the same time. Let me tap on clock. Again, both of them are opening at the same time. There is no difference at all. Let me tap on calendar. Now let's tap on calculator. Gallery. Again, it opens at the same time. Reminder. No difference at all here as well. Let's open notes. Again, there is no difference here. Now let's see how the camera opens up. I'll open camera application. Maybe a tad bit faster on the S24 Ultra. I'm not very sure that it looks same, but for me, for the naked eyes, it looked a little bit faster on the S23 Ultra. Let me do a thing. Let me close this application and reopen it again. Let's open camera again. I think it's more or less at the same time. Now uh, let's open phone, same time. Let me open good lock. Again, there is no difference at all. So when it comes to the system applications, uh, it's uh, as fast as the S23 Ultra, or let's say the S23 Ultra is as fast as the uh, S24 Ultra. Now let's go ahead and start with some of the uh, third-party applications, some web-based applications. Let's begin with Google News. It's faster on the S24 Ultra, a little bit slower on the S23 Ultra. Now let's open Flipkart. Almost at the same time. Now let's open Instagram. Almost at the same time, I would say. I am skipping the Yahoo Mail app because I will have to log into this phone and I don't really recall the password here. Uh, so let's skip this. Now let's uh, go ahead with Facebook. It's almost at the same time. I didn't see, I didn't notice any difference there. Now let me open Amazon. You can see it's a little faster on the S23 Ultra. Now we are going to open some of the games. Uh, we have got uh, uh, PUBG here, Asphalt 9 and Call of Duty. Let me start with PUBG. Looks like both phones are doing equally good and I don't see any difference here. Exactly at the same time, both phones have opened the application and it looks like the S23 uh, Ultra loaded this a little, maybe a millisecond faster here. That is really surprising. Now let's go back. Now let's open Asphalt 9. It is taking a few seconds here, as you can see. Again, it's faster on the S23 Ultra. Now let me go back. Now let's open Call of Duty. Looks like both are doing equally good. Uh, it is a little bit faster on the S23 Ultra here. 
Now, for some reason, S23 Ultra is doing either equally good or a millisecond or a second faster than the S24 Ultra. Now, we've got this 200 MB PDF file here. Let's open this and see how uh, uh, these phones are going to manage this. This is, of course, a heavy file, and we're going to open this on Samsung's uh, Notes application. Let me tap on these two files simultaneously. Again, both of them have opened up at the same time. Now let's scroll uh, this through. Let's see uh, how it's gonna manage. As you can see, both lag a little bit there uh, to open the new pages. Yes, there is a lag in uh, both the phones uh, uh, when, uh, to show these new pages here. Let me scroll back upwards. As you can see, the blank pages are visible here and it looks like it's the same on both these phones. Now let's go back. Now let's open gallery and I'll tap on hamburger menu. We have got studio application built inside uh, the Galaxy phones. On both the phones we have got this app. I will tap on studio. Now let's go ahead and start a new project here. Now this is going to be interesting. I will select a few uh, video clips here. I got about eight video clips on this phone and here also I have got the same video clips which I'm going to select. You see all these eight clips are the same clips which I've transferred uh, into these two phones and we're going to stitch these video clips now. Let's tap on done. As you can see S24 Ultra added this clip faster and then comes the S23 Ultra. Now I'm not going to add any elements here. I will just tap on done. We are going to stitch these clips together. I'll tap on done here. Now I'll tap on save to save this particular movie. You see the uh, uh, rendering has already started. Looks like the S23 Ultra is a little bit faster for some reason. I'm not sure why is this happening. We are already at 30% and here 27%. S23 Ultra seems to be a little faster here. But let's see the end results now. You see, the S23 Ultra finished it first and another 10% to go here. There is a difference of about five to six seconds definitely between these two phones and it is really surprising to see S23 Ultra finishing this video rendering first. It's almost 1.8 GB file. You can see here also it's 1.8 GB. So there is no difference in file size. One minute, 40 seconds video after stitching all these clips and S23 Ultra finished it faster. Now, uh, if you own a Galaxy S23 Ultra, I'm sure you will be very, very happy, very glad to have this phone. Even though the S24 Ultra comes with a brand new uh, faster chipset and also a better vapor chamber for heat management, uh, the rendering is faster on the S24 Ultra. And even when it comes to opening the apps, it looks like S23 Ultra is doing slightly better or equally good compared to the S24 Ultra. Now let's go to the recent applications and see if the applications are open in the background. Let's open as part 9 both of them refresh for some reason now let's go back I will uh, open PUBG uh, both of them are in the memory now let's open some of the other applications here let's open Amazon You see it refreshed on the S23 Ultra. Now let's go to Facebook. It just refreshed the page on both the phones. Uh, now let's open GoodLock. This was in the memory on the S24 Ultra. It refreshed a little bit here on the S23 Ultra. So it looks like both the phones are equally good 
even though it's the latest generation phone the s23 ultra is still equally good compared to the s24 ultra now this is just a casual quick speed test between these two phones uh, let me know what do you think about this comparison drop a comment and also let me know which phone do you currently rock and let me know how is it performing in the description that's all i want to share with you guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet go ahead hit the subscribe button and become a part of apex community and give this video a like if you find this informational thanks for watching my name is sally i'm signing off cheers bye bye